Part 7. Evaluating algebraic expressions. You will find this on page 89 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at a few complicated examples. Now, when C is negative a third and D is 3 and E is negative 2, evaluate the following expression. This one and this one. Now, do exactly the same. Rewrite the expression. Now remember what I said, put brackets around the variables, especially for students who's doing it for the first time. Now what you can do, the, if you look at the um, example, you see already brackets. So you can maybe change that bracket to a different form to make it easier. Okay. Now after that, don't forget your order of operation. So we are first going to do that power, first brackets, and then that power inside. So actually there stands 4 times 3 times, okay, and then it's the bracket. Now I must first do this power. It's, there is actually standing negative a third times negative a third. So a negative times a negative will be a positive. 1 times 1 is 1, and 3 times 3, that will be 9. And that's where I got that 1 over 9. Now, remember, you can do this one by saying I change it into an addition by and then f take the additive inverse of the negative 2. That will be positive 2. And that's 3 times 2, 6. But remember that I also tell my students sometimes that that bracket means multiply. So a negative multiply a negative. There's two negative signs. It's an even number. And that's why the sign will be positive. And then 3 times 2, that will be 6. And then 6 plus 1 over 9 is 6 and 1 over 9. Then make this one an improper fraction. So 6 times 9 is 54, plus 1 is 55 over 9. And now you can cancel out, or you can just multiply, top times top, bottom times bottom. And then don't forget that you can use your calculator for this. You can just press on your calculator, 2, 2, 0, then A, B, C, then 3, then equal. And your calculator will take it to a mixed number, if you have that A, B, C on your calculator. Okay, let's look at the next one. Again, this is a fraction. So, again, just put, like I, as I said, I like to tell my students, put brackets around all the variables. Okay, maybe I didn't do it so well there. So just that you can see. So then I just do the substitution, and now I start simplifying. Now, first simplify the top, and then simplify the bottom, and then do the division. So there's the negative 2. Now remember, that is a subtraction. Change, to, change this into addition by finding the additive inverse. So the additive inverse will be, I'll show you both ways. It's going to be a positive, and the additive inverse of negative a third will be positive a third. Or you can say a negative times a negative will be a positive. But what I did here, let's first, let's first simplify this before I come to that positive. So make this, if you see fractions, make everything fractions. So then it's actually just saying 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 over 3 is 1. So I first keep that. And now make that additive inverse. So this is now going to become a positive, and I take the additive inverse, and that will be a positive 1. Or I can just say a negative times a negative will be a positive. Now simplify the bottom. Let's just see here. Um, just make everything fractions. It's always easy if you, everything is fractions. Then how many negative signs are there? There are two, so one, two. That's an even number, so it will be positive. And then three times two, that will be six. Um, so it will be, let's just make space here. This is going to be three times two, that will be six, over three, and six divided by three will give me that two. And now this is negative. <coughs> if the signs are different, what do I do? I subtract, so I get one. And I take the sign in front of the biggest movement. That's negative. And just move it in front of the fraction. And there is the answer. Okay. I want you to do, for me, 
Try now 10, do number A as well as number B. Stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So this is try now 10. Let's start with number A. First, just write down your algebraic expression. Okay, and remember what I said? I like to put brackets around all the variables. And now, I'm going to rewrite it, and I'm just going to clean the inside. Put another bracket. This otherwise, the brackets start to get confusing. Okay, and now you can fill it in. So in the place of C, you will put negative 5. In the place of A, you will put a quarter. In the place of B, you will put 6. And in the place of C, you will put negative 5. Okay, so this is negative 5. Rewrite the 8. Now, this is a quarter times a quarter. So what will it be? 1. 4 times 4, that will be 16. You can multiply this also. So keep your positive first. And say 6 multiply negative 5. There's one negative stripe, so the sign will be negative. 6 times 5 is 30. Okay. Now, first let's complete the bracket. First do the bracket. Put this over 1. This is a multiply. So we can cancel out. I can go in one time. I can go in two times. So what is left? It's a half minus 30. Now, if you think of this, a half minus 30. Okay, I, I think just to make it, um, I we can, it's negative 29 and a half. But I think just let's rather do it like this because we, we're sitting there also with a number. So times 2 times 2. So I'm going to have negative 5. And it's going to be 1 minus 60. And it's going to be over 2. Okay. Now, what is, this is a positive. What do I do if the signs are different? I subtract. And I take the sign in front of the big movement. So it will be negative 59 over 2. Now don't forget that this is multiplication. So what's the negative times a negative? It's a positive. Now you can even just press on your calculator. Press 59 times 5 and that will be 295. And that's over 2. So if I divide it by 2, I will just get 1, 4, 7, and a half. And that will be my final answer. Remember that you can press it with ABC. So you can just press 295 ABC2 equals, and it will give you then that mixed fraction or mixed number. Okay, let's do number B. Let's just get space first for number B. Okay, let's start with number B. Okay, first write down the algebraic expression as it stands there. Exactly. And then remember, especially for grade 8 students, I like to tell them to put around all the letters brackets. And then I tell them rewrite everything and just clean the brackets, the inside. But make sure that you are writing everything. Even the square and the minus 4. Okay, now you can just substitute. So in the place of A, I will put a quarter. In the place of B, I will put 6. In the place of C, I will put negative 5. Um, let's look here. In the place of A, it was a quarter. In the place of B, it was 6. And that's everything. And remember, you will get a mark for that. Okay, now let's start simplifying. We must simplify this top to one single number, this bottom to one single number, and then do division. But let's start. This is multiplication, so I do it first. It's mu five times a quarter times six. So I just put, make it um, fractions, all of them. So it's five times one times six, so it will be 30. And then 1 times 4 times 1 over 4. 
Okay. Now, remember, this is a subtraction, so I can make it an addition by, by finding the additive inverse. So it will be plus, plus 5. Or I can say a negative times a negative will be a positive. But it will just end up to positive 5 plus 3. Now, remember, first make this a uh, mixed fraction. Okay, we will do it in the next step. Let's just fin uh, simplify the bottom also. So if I have a quarter, rewrite, you must first do the power. So this is 6 times 6, it's, it's a multiply, so it will be 36 over 1 minus 4. Okay, now just to get my space a little bit better, I'm going to continue here. So just if you say 30, ABC4, you will get 7 and a half. So this is going to be 7 and a half, and that 5 and 3 is 8. We will now simplify that further. Now remember, 4 can go in 1 time, 4 can go in 9, so this is going to give me 9 minus 4. Okay, if I simplify, this will give me 15, 7 plus 8, 15 and a half, um, divide by, and then 9 minus 4 will be 5. Now I have one number for the top, one number for the bottom, and now I can do division. And I can say, um, let's just make it an... Um, Improper fraction, so 15 times 2 is 30 plus 1, so it's 31 over 2, and I'm going to divide by 5. I make it first a fraction, put it over 1. And remember division, what do I do if I divide fra fractions? I make it a multiplication by finding the reciprocal. And if I get this, I will get top times top, so it's 31 over 10, and I can simplify that to 3 and 1 over 10, which is my final answer.